Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am back in case you've not been following along. I had a baby just about three weeks ago, so I've had a little time off, but I'm back today and better than ever because we're talking about something very exciting. I am going to be sharing with you guys some of the best cleaning tips that I've heard and they come from a professional housekeeper. Her name is Vanessa. She's on TikTok and she is blowing up over on TikTok. I think she has close to 2 million followers and there's a reason why. She's got the best tips. My favorite thing about her actually is she's got sass. I've been watching her for a while and I've started to integrate a lot of her tips into my cleaning routine. So those are the ones I wanted to share with you guys today. This is her TikTok handle. I will put a link to it down in the description box. You all should go follow her and support her. And if you are new here to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. You'll just be notified of my new videos. And I do videos on cleaning, life hacks, organization, lots of different fun topics. So with all of that said, let's get into it. All right, we're gonna start off here in the bathroom. First of all, let's move Ryan's toenail clippers out of the shot. Now, this may be one of the grossest yet coolest cleaning tips I've ever come across. And that involves this guy right here. This is a UV light. And she talks about using this while cleaning around your toilet to see where the pee really is. Because when you turn this on, You can shine it on your things and whatever glows, that's urine. You may think you're cleaning your toilet, getting it all, but this may tell you a different story. Instead of ghost hunters, we're on pee hunters. Around the toilet looks okay, which is nice. Oh, see, you see where it's glowing right there? There's some mist urine, but where things get really crazy is if you start checking the walls. Oh my gosh so now let's clean it for cleaning the actual toilet area itself you can just use your disinfecting cleaner and then for the walls you might just want to use soap and water just because we don't want to damage the paint so while we're in the bathroom this one is also kind of nasty but so necessary and so good to know and that is most people don't know this i didn't is the toilet seat lid can and should be removed and cleaned along with the rest of your toilet area. On top, there are two little tabs. You just pop them up and then you can just pull the lid right off and you're destined to find quite a treasure of uh, disgust. You know, it's not, it's not for the faint of heart, especially if you've never cleaned it before. It can be really gross. So now that you have the lid off, you can fully clean the area, disinfect it, and then put it back. Next up is her method for cleaning your kitchen sink drain because you know over time it can start to smell and get nasty. So we wanna be cleaning that. Now I'm putting on my gloves for this because the first step is removing the garbage disposal gasket here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is so gross. So yeah, remove this and clean this with hot soapy water. And side note, yes, I still use these dishwasher cleaning gloves. They have the little bristles on the bottom because you know, you can clean and have your gloves on at the same time. For cleaning the actual drain itself, there's two different things you can use. A combination of dish soap and bleach or dish soap and distilled white vinegar. You don't want to use both bleach and vinegar together that's bad. Step one is to pour in your dish soap. And she says, don't be shy with it. Really pour a lot. Then you want to add your vinegar or bleach. And again, you want to add quite a lot. And now it's the fun part. We got to run some hot water and then turn on our garbage disposal. Let it all mix and clean and freshen everything in there. So we just let that run. I replaced the gasket and now it's nice and clean and fresh. This next one has to do with cleaning your stainless steel appliances. And it's very simple, but something I never thought to do. And that is clean with the grain of your stainless steel. Probably not something you've really thought about or noticed before, but if you look closely, you can see that it will either be going up and down or left to right. And in this case, this dishwasher is going left to right. So when I'm cleaning, you wanna go in an S shape, left to right motion, and that's going to most effectively clean it and give it the best shine and polish. All right, we're gonna take things up a notch from our basic 
folded towel. This is boring. It's very easy to have your towels rolled. It looks a lot nicer. You take one corner, fold it down. Then take the top, fold that down. Flip it over. Then you take the bottom over here and just roll it up. And then when you have this loose end here, you just tuck it in the top. So it stays nice and secure. And you have beautifully rolled, folded towels. I love this method. I will never go back. Up next is a very practical tip, but one that I think every household could use, okay? And it has to do with your microfiber cloths. Now these are the microfiber cloths that she recommends, also the ones that I happen to get in bulk from Amazon. It's so funny, they come like this, vacuum sealed. So just because it's so satisfying, I decided to wait to open these on camera. Have my slice tool. If you know, you know. Watch it grow. Woo. So we got our whole stack of fresh microfiber cloth. And what she talks about is making it such that each color cloth is designated for a certain room in your house to avoid cross contamination. You can either commit it to memory, you know, like blue is for bathroom, orange is for kitchen, or you could take a Sharpie and write it on the tag, or you could just even write, you know, B for bathroom so you don't forget. Because when you think about it, you know, I don't wanna be using the same rug to clean my toilet as I'm using to clean my drinking cups. You know what I mean? So very simple tip, but I think very smart. The next thing she talks about is cleaning your doors. Think about it. When was the last time you went around your house and cleaned your doors? She says no room is complete without going and just taking a little wipe down of your doors just with some warm soapy water on a cloth. Wipe it down. And I have to say this, especially with kids, you don't even realize how nasty and all the little handprints they get all over the bottom of the door. Oh wow, see, so look right here. If you look right here, this is about Carter's height and uh, there's lots of little handprints, so just wipe it down. Okay, so this next thing that Vanessa taught me really blew my mind, because I cannot believe I didn't know this was a thing, but it's a thing. So if you are looking for perfectly clear, streak-free glass or mirrors, there's a secret, okay? That secret? are these. There are special glass cleaning cloths that allow you to have the beautifully streak-free glass. Because if you're using a regular microfiber cloth, like I've been doing my entire life, there's lint left over and they tend to be streaky. Also, if you're using a paper towel, there's also a little lint that gets on there. So you need these guys. These are the key. How did nobody tell me these existed sooner? So just... Spray your glass down, and I like to go in an S-shaped motion. Wow, 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 wow. You guys, I cannot emphasize enough what a difference these make. Like, it's effortless, and there is absolutely no streaks. These, for me, are a game changer. The last thing we're gonna talk about is a little hack that if you do this, you will be the next level. Everyone else is here, you're gonna be up here. That is these cool toilet paper folding techniques. They just look fancy, they look cool. They're gonna impress people. You maybe don't need to do this every day, but if you're having a party or guests over, it's gonna wow them. It's gonna make them say, she really cares. Okay, we're gonna start with the basic triangle fold. All you need to do, this one's very simple, take a square, fold it back, then take one corner, fold it over, not quite all the way, then take the top part, fold that down. We have our little triangle. And that's it. That takes like two seconds and it looks really nice. Now we're leveling up and we're going to make a shell. This one will really impress your guests. So for this, you first wanna take one square of toilet paper, set it aside. Then with this, you want to take a rectangle, like half a sheet, fold it back three times. One, two, three, 
take this, fold it back, then take the two corners, fold them in, little triangle, flip it back, and you've made a little pocket. That's where we're gonna put our shell. Now with this, you're gonna kinda just fold it up like a little accordion, pinch it, pinch, 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 pinch. So you have your little accordion, then you want to fold that in half, and this is our shell. This goes in the pocket we just made, like so. I mean, look how pretty and nice this looks. Again, this is great to have out when you're having guests at a party or you have a freshly cleaned bathroom. All right, so that is going to be it for today's video. I did film this in a little bit of a different style than normal. So instead of a voiceover, it was kind of like live action. Let me know if you prefer this style or the voiceover style or if you like a little bit of a mix. Also, if you have watched this far into the video and you're not yet subscribed, please hit that red subscribe button. I would love to have you. And with all of that said, I will see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye.